And we see Dr. Kanani's face here. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. So excited to speak to you today. Yeah, I'm so excited to speak with you too. And um, I'm a big fan of yours, so now I feel oh. like uh, we are. I, I'm so happy to talk to you. For the next <laughs> 15 Thanks for finding the time. Of course, of course. Thank you for finding the time. I know you're busy, um, but I know that everybody wants to hear so much about this topic. Um, and so I'm excited to hop into it. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to start with is kind of the like obvious question of how do you know or how often should people with diabetes go see an eye doctor, whether it's prior to their diagnosis or afterward? Yeah, so uh, every time you have diabetes, you should get your eyes checked once a year. And your primary care doctor actually usually initiates a referral to see an optometrist or an ophthalmologist. Uh, and if they haven't done that, make sure you ask. I know I need to get my eyes checked once a year. Can you send me a referral for it? And some of the primary care doctors are now having cameras in their office mm -hmm. where you take pictures of the eyes and they can actually have artificial intelligence or a reader read your eyes. So sometimes uh, it's much, even easier that you don't leave that office without your getting your eyes checked. But it's approved by FDA, but it's slowly coming in. So not all doctors have that access. Yeah, that's really cool that technology can help in that way and kind of can help you keep track of the progression too and where you are. That's a really, um, I think, like awesome thing that we have now. And in terms of this conversation, one of the things that I found really surprising when I was learning about eye health is that eye disease can be manageable. You just have to take the right steps and you have to like you have to do work as the patient with diabetes, but you also have your doctor working alongside you. Um, and one of the things that I think is sometimes confusing is what the connection might be between diabetes and diabetic eye disease and diabetic macular edema and how those two um, maybe are the same or maybe are very different and what they mean. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think it can be scary when you say you have diabetic macular edema or diabetic retinopathy because patients usually associate that with blindness. They know somebody who went blind from diabetes. That's not the case, as you said. So thank you for mentioning that, that all the disease that we have from diabetes is treatable and you can actually maintain good vision and maintain your independence. But it can only happen if you go see your doctor. And basically diabetic macular edema is like, like leaky vessels. Anywhere in the body, high sugars cause blood vessel damage, whether it's your heart, your kidneys, your feet, and in the eye, same thing happens. So that's the correlation it's a direct correlation from your sugar control. And now it happens slowly, right? So it's not overnight. So if you've been a diabetic for 10 years and you didn't control your sugars and didn't get your eyes tested, you may go uh, have macular edema and need treatment. So it doesn't happen overnight. So that's why it's important to get your eyes checked once a year. And if you have any signs of diabetic macular edema, we can treat it and you can still keep 20-20 vision if it's not too advanced. So that's the whole goal of this conversation today please go see a doctor and don't be scared because uh, once you get treatment, you can trust us to make sure that you keep your vision. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned that there are symptoms of eye disease. And so some of those things can appear. What kinds of things should a patient look for if they are looking for a change in their vision? Well, I think, you know, blurry spot, things are not clear, there's a blur in the center. I recommend checking one eye at a time. If you have something going on, check one eye because the other eye usually takes over even if you have a problem in one eye. Anything new, anything new needs to be tested. Black spot, black shadow, black floaters, spots in the vision, um, colors are not bright. So it can come in different varieties, but usually Mild macular edema doesn't even cause symptoms. So that's where you want to attack it and preserve your vision. So that's why it's important to get your eyes tested and to control your blood sugars. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for outlining that, um, especially the need to go consistently. Because um, we can take 
you know, an hour or two once a year to make sure things are okay. Like we can get overwhelmed with all of the things that we have to do to be able to manage diabetes, but like dedicating that little bit of time seems to be able to save us so much more in the long run. Correct. Don't let fear of losing vision or fear that I have diabetic eye disease stop you from getting help. No matter where you are in your eye health, we can help. And as I was mentioning earlier, the only time I cannot help is when the damage is too advanced and now I cannot reverse it. So yes, I mean, imagine you use your eyes all the time. Without vision, your life gets impacted so bad. And I have patients who have lost vision from diabetes because they didn't pay attention to it for a long time. So even if you have not gotten an exam for five years, please go in now because it's not too late. As I say, it's never too late to protect your vision so that you can maintain your independence and your life. So, so you're right. Like, let's not have that fear that, oh my God, I haven't seen my eye doctor for five years and now I may have a problem. So I'd rather not go because it's gonna stress me. And the treatments we have are very manageable and doable so that we can preserve vision. Yeah, absolutely. And that I feel like I wanna say again, should be such a comfort to people with diabetes because it's not like hope is lost. If you're, you notice those changes in your vision, you just have to be proactive. It's like everything else that we do to manage diabetes, you just have to be proactive. You have to be on it. Um, and like Dr. Kanani said, don't let fear stop you from getting that help because it can be treated and it can be managed. You just have to get there <laughs> and do it and commit to that. Um, so it's, it's really great. And I think, you know, I keep saying it's so comforting to hear that, um, you know, having a diagnosis of diabetic retinopathy or diabetic macular edema doesn't automatically mean that you're going to go blind. And I think that, um, that like, you know, we hear that all the time in terms of complications, like if you don't take care of it, that's what's going to happen. Um, so knowing that there are treatment options and there are options and seeing a specialist like yourself um, to be able to maintain your vision is so cool, so important. Um, and so I am so glad that you exist. <laughs> no, no, you. I'm so glad you are there to educate the broader community. We couldn't do this without you. We all work hard, right? Our goal is to make sure diabetics don't feel overwhelmed they don't have the fear of all the things diabetes can do. As I said, I mean, I have patients who have had the disease for 50 years and doing great. So it's a matter of just taking that first step, following uh, you know, the instructions from your doctors to get your eyes checked, and then we are, we are in good shape. Uh, so yeah, please, uh, you know, and don't let the disease scare you because it's a disease that is manageable and you will win and you will not go blind if you take care of it. Yeah, absolutely. That is, I feel like, the perfect place to end it on. And I want to thank you so much for being here, so much for sharing your expertise um, and being a you know great voice for all of us living with diabetes to help us know what to expect in the future. No, thank you so much. I have family members who have diabetes and I have so many patients. And, and my, my passion is to make sure that not a single person goes blind around the world because of diabetes. And that's why we are involved in so many latest advancement in clinical trials and research. I mean, I, I remember 20 years ago to now, we have so much, so many better options for treatment of eye conditions from diabetes. So it will just get better, but we cannot reverse advanced damage. So please get your eyes tested see the doctor and you'll be fine. So thank you for having me here. I learned a lot 